Hello, it's Carla from Scrap and Create, and today I'm here to share with you my newest creation, utilizing Graphic 45 Little One Collection. Now, this is a folio, and I wanted to make it a gender-neutral folio because I thought I love the paper, but it was a little too pink if you, if you are having a baby boy coming into the family, so I wanted to tap down the pink. And what I used was an I use the Artist Loft alcohol. It's an alcohol-based marker. It's Y3 Coca, and I will have a little video um, posted on showing you how I did this. Basically, I just used this and went over the pink parts and went from this, which is pretty pink, to this which is just more like a golden, it's a golden yellow. So it pretty much takes out um, th that pink. So this can be gender neutral. Now this folio measures, it's 10 inches uh, long by seven and three quarter inches tall with a two and a quarter inch spine. Now the front, I, I had a picture of, um, a mother and father and their newborn baby that I wanted to has a, has a centerpiece there. Um, but if you do not have that, you can just utilize, if I can get this, the collection and put that in like, let me get this straight, that in like this. So that could fit in like that and that would look very cute also. But if you have access to the, the parents and the newborn baby, that would be wonderful. And down here, I'm going to put the name of the baby, birth date, the day of the delivery, a birth weight, etc. all that information here. Over here, used a little ephemera piece from the collection. These are from the collection also. You're utilizing Winnie the Pooh because this has lots of Winnie the Pooh. Wanted to use Winnie the Pooh. We have these little ephemera cut apart pieces um, in our shop and I use these throughout the album. I'm not sure why this is going in and out of focus. Boo. Anyway, I have lots of these throughout the album. So that is one of those um, cut aparts from that Winnie the Pooh collection. And I just have Winnie the Pooh standing on top of the love blocks from the ephemera cut aparts from the collection also. So this is the front cover. Pretty simple, but I thought it was such a cute front cover. Here's the spine. And using the ephemera cut apart pieces here. And then the back is this. Once again, utilizing Piglet from the ephemera pieces from the Winnie the Pooh collection that we have in our shop. So I just love Piglet. So this is how we're going to open the spine, open the folio. So you have two sections. Um, each section has two panels. So you open it up and you're going to come to this first section. These two are held together by a magnet, well, several magnets that hold it closed. Don't want to put anything bulky here because you have your magnets here. My idea was to put the announcement card, the baby's announcement card here, hello baby, with all their birth information, newborn picture. And on this side, utilizing the same announcement, but putting the baby now at one years of age. So you can just get a contrast between how much they change in just 12 months. But if you do not have this, these announcements, you can use one of our postcards that we created. Well, I created. Uh, this is, the, to me, this postcard looks like everybody is waiting for the new baby to come. And that would fit right here. And I thought that would just be so cute. Looks like everybody's waiting for the new baby. And over here, you could use, take this off. 
you could use this postcard. And this is having Piglet and Pooh walking through life. And I just love this image of Pooh and Piglet. That would be over here. So those two postcards could fit right there. And I think that is so cute. So let's start with our first section. So the first two panels. Open this up. You're going to see panel one and panel two. So let's start with panel one. So panel one, we have a journaling card that we also will have in our shop um, that I created. Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, welcome baby. This has a little pull tab so you know to open this up. So you're going to open this up. And my idea for this is to put the, the mother, the pregnant mother here, and then just put down waiting for baby. If you know the baby's name, you can put waiting for whatever the baby's name is with the pregnant mom. And then here's a little journaling card also from the collection. If I'm thinking correctly, said Pooh, a new baby is probably undoubtedly the grandest gift that could ever be. And it looks like everybody in the 100 acres, acres wood is waiting for the baby to be born. So then you open this up and you're going to open, have this flap over here and you open this one and you have this flap and you come to the centerpiece. Now each of these side flaps opens up again. So you have space over here and then this side flap will open again. Space over here, so lots of photo opportunities for that newborn baby. To me, panel one is all just the newborn baby. Then pull this down and you have a space down here. And down here, you can do some journaling, put some more photos, a big space for a photo spread here. And let me close this all up. Doop, doop. And you have a side pocket here. So a little tab to, to tell you to pull this out. And we have this huge photo mat. Huge photo mat. So you open it up and you will have plenty of space for more photos from that newborn period. Grandma and Grandpa, everybody coming to see the newborn baby. Lots of photo opportunities in panel one. Then you get to panel two. So here we have a little card that we created and a little journaling spot on the back. So I made these journaling um, little um, pieces also that you can get in our shop. So you can do some journaling here that fits in this little pocket with another Winnie the Pooh little saying. And then over here you have Pooh and Piglet from that ephemera collection. Put them down here. This opens up and you have this, this pocket here. I just made a, a little um, photo mat in here and stuck in one of our other little journaling cards that I made and that goes in here. Now, this has a little tag because you may miss this one. So you open this up and here is some more photo opportunities. Here we have a, a little button tie closure and it has a little charm, a little bunny charm. So if you order the collection from us, Julie includes multiple little charms that you can utilize for this. And I put Winnie the Pooh from the Femmer collection, cut him out and put him down here. And then these will open up. So more photo opportunities, some more areas if you want to journal in through here. And this will just close up again. This will close and this closes. Then you have this little tie that is holding down lots of bits and pieces here. So you pull this little tab, this will open up. 
So you have this little area for some four by sixes right here and here. This has all been colored in with that um, alcohol marker to tap down all that pink that was in here also. You have this huge spread here so you can um, put a big photo of the family or multiple little photos here. And this opens up and then you have this big spread here with a little pocket here and you can put one of the postcards here if you like. That would, that would look nice in there. And they're finished on the back side also. And then you have this place for more photos. Open this up. More place for photos here. More place for photos here. Another little journaling card. Our little, um, little card that I made. And then we, once again, we have a big booklet insert. Opens up lots of space for more photos. I like these because they protect the photos that are inside, especially when you're putting them, pulling them in and out, those photos are going to be protected. So that all closes up lots of stuff on this side on panel two. So let's go to our second Our second part here so we have panels three and panel four so panel three we have a little pocket and we have poo and platelet here again here's a little insert with another place for journaling back in here that we created and here's a little tab that tells you pull it this way magnet closure some more photo opportunities here and here. Another pull tab here. More photo opportunities here and here. Then this one tells you there's another pull. You open this whole thing up and then you have this huge spread here. I inserted this little envelope using the ephemera pieces that we have in our shop with the Winnie the Pooh pieces, Pooh and Piglet. And then I just used a little um, clo swing closure. And then we have an envelope here. I tucked in another little journaling card um, that we created, put that in here. And you can put anything in here, the, the baby's bracelet, the hospital bracelet, bracelet baby's footprints from the hospital, whatever you like, can go in this little envelope. And then you have this big photo spread right in the center. And once again, a big photo mat opens up for more photo opportunities. And it's been covered on both sides and that will just fit in here. Slides in real easy. This all closes up. And then we come to panel four, the last panel. So we have these little swing door closures, more place for some smaller photos or from journaling, if you like, on the side here, magnetic closures there. And then we come to a waterfall. Now, this waterfall, my idea for this was to showcase 12 months of the baby's life. So growing up, I used this from the Winnie the Pooh ephemera collection, put that there. And this opens. And another little charm that Julie will, will put in if you get the collection from us. This opens up and my idea is newborn picture, one month old, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 months old. So here we have the Winnie the Pooh cut apart, the first birthday, and then have a picture of the little one at the first birthday. So my idea is this folio is from newborn 
to one years old. And if you have grandchildren, you know you will have thousands of photos to pick through um, for that first year of life. And then this closes back up. And then, of course, we have another insert. Another uh, booklet insert. Lots of photo opportunities. And that just fits right back in here again. And bam, you've got the baby's first year of life held in this, this strong little folio. Well, it's not little, it's actually kind of big. So that is the folio that I created using Little One, trying to make it gender neutral, utilizing some Winnie the Pooh st stuff in here just to give it a little bit more. Um, I, don't, I just love Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> and in another video, I will also show you go through this. This is a little memory box I made, again, using the paper from the collection and the ephemera pieces from um, the Winnie the Pooh ephemera pieces. I made a little box and this is a memory box that I wanted to create a little baby journal for the mother. And this pulls up and this is just a little baby journal and a little tag here for um, to put whoever gives this to you. You can put hi and who it's for, who it's from. And then we just start, all these pages have something to do with Winnie the Pooh. These are all Winnie the Pooh type pages. So those are gonna go all the way through and lots of Winnie the Pooh stuff in here for the mom to journal. And then there is a little envelope at the end where you can stuff anything the mom wants in there. So, and that just, oops, fits in this little box. And there's places for lots of pins so the mom can do some journaling. And I ac actually made a little calendar for the first 12 months of the baby's life. My grandson is going to be born this July, so that's why I made this. And I made a little um, calendar for the first 12 months of my grandson's um, life. And that's going to fit in the mom's journal also. So this will be a separate video that I'll go through on how you can make this also. But I hope you like this and let me know what you think and we'll talk to you later. Bye.